奥团阿杰曼。他就是在“一带一路”势力下谈农业机械化，助力加辣减贫的。大家欢迎。Good afternoon, Mr. President, Mr. Chairman, the Dean, Directors, Novel Guests. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for the opportunity given me to present at this August meeting on a theme, agricultural mechanization as a tool of the Belt and Road Initiative. This is my outline, introduction about Ghana, education and collaboration, mechanization advancement, mechanization to alleviate poverty, challenges of agricultural mechanization, BRI and international collaboration, and we give conclusion. So this is the outline. Ghana is one of the greatest West African countries with peaceful coexistence. Ghana had independence in 1957 and currently had 32 million people. It also has 16 administrative buildings, area size of 238,540 square kilometers, and currently it has an arable land of 18%. And with GDP at 2020, it has 72.35 billion USD. And as at 2020, so as at 2020, agriculture accounts for 35% GDP. So Ghana has a lot of mineral resources such as gold, diamond, bauxite, aluminium, and so many other resources that we are calling for investment in Ghana. So in Ghana agriculture, and culture crops form the basis of agriculture in Ghana's economy. Also, Ghana accounts for 47% for formal and informal agricultural employment. Major players such as smallholders account for 80% of total domestic agricultural output. So there are products that are mainly produced in Ghana with diametric tongues. So we have the cocoa, we have the yam, the plantain, cassava, we have the palm oil, the corn, the pineapple, and then the rice. All these are produced in Ghana and we are calling for massive investment in our country. So as of 2021, the GDP of Ghana fell in agriculture fell by a percentage, but currently it is rising to the normal pressure. So this is the roadmap of the agricultural mechanization as a tool to alleviate poverty in Ghana. So Ghana aims to use agricultural mechanization to reduce manpower cost, also decrease post-harvest losses, increase productivity, raise farm incomes, increase food supply, also reduces food prices, create greater job opportunities, higher non-farm incomes, and improve standard of living, and finally help to alleviate poverty in Ghana. Current development of agricultural standards in Ghana. A company developed by a Ghanaian called Isoku Ghana has developed a technology that is helping to improve agriculture in Ghana by informing, searching, search, uh, surveying, and also asking for information that are resilient for African farming development. These are the challenges of agricultural mechanization in Ghana that is calling for investment. We have application of simple hand tools, lack of storage facilities. This is overshadowed by 80% of hidden farmers and it has an unstructured irrigation system. Also, it's characterized by land tenant systems, low technology application, weak interaction between producers and market, and further, limited application of agrochemicals. Because of the challenges, our government has initiated a lot of policies to encourage investment. One, favorable policies designed for investors, such as tax intensive for investors, safe and peaceful environment has also been created for investors to come to Ghana. In enhancing the promotion, Africa Free Trade is basically founded in Ghana or the place 
the hub of it is in Ghana. So all investors that come to Ghana have the opportunity to enjoy such free trade zone rights. Also, there is export promotion drive in Ghana, full repatriation of dividends. So all investors that come to Ghana have the right to repatriate their dividend fully. And then there is protection of the investment also in our country. Further, in enhancing agricultural mechanization in our country, we are calling for investment because there's vast land of for agriculture. Also, there's availability of labor. And Ghana also has a higher effort and hub for shipping heavy duty equipment and food products. So all those investors who are interested in our country, when shipping any products in the country, will safely do so without any challenges. Through the BRI collaboration, Ghana has benefited from BDAM, which generates electricity and also helps in irrigation purposes. Further, with the collaboration of BRI and China companies, such as the China Geo Engineering Corporation, a lot of uh, policies or programs have been initiated, such as the solar panel to help agricultural farmers. Further, at the Asian Bank, has also assisted Ghana's rural digital network coverage. That's currently, there are nine regions in Ghana that are benefiting from that. And out of that, about 172 towns are also enjoying that benefit. And also, there is a Sino Hydro Butter Agreement between China and Ghana. That's a work cycle for infrastructure development. Further, we are calling for massive investment in Ghana. All investors that come to Ghana have the opportunity for commercial livestock farming, cocoa bean processing and export, share butter processing, and have irrigation and poultry farming preparation. Further, we have we are seeking for collaboration for new products, fertilizer supply, drone technology expansion in our country. So all investors are invited. In enhancing small attacks skill aquaculture, cooperation for technology transfer is being sought, develop aquaculture and also fish health management and post harvest fish management is also sought in our country. In the investment, we have the long term, medium term and short term. So all investors are welcome in order to engage in the long term, medium term or short term. Through the Jiangsu Investi and African Collaboration, in 2018, the president of BSU and some technical investors in their country had a collaboration by Senate MOU, and as well as in 2017, another visitor from Ghana visited GSU for agricultural development process. I give a conclusion that agricultural mechanization is critical to alleviate poverty in Ghana. However, Majority of farmers are unable to afford mechanized equipment and so use a K2. Therefore, a collaborative effort is needed from relevant stakeholders to overcome these challenges. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Edgeman. Thank you.